Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. And Fossey is in the lab. This is one of their older purple boxes. Guys, I have a preamp they sent me too. I, I knew they were sending me the preamp, but didn't know about this. This is kind of a cool little thing, I think. Let me know what you guys think. It's the AH-01A. Let's open it up, check it out. All right, guys, let's open this guy up. Got the piece of foam. They always package things very well. Uh, you got your little manual, okay? Things fairly simple, I think, so we don't need too much of a manual. And then we have this little guy. All right, that's interesting. That's where the little light strips are gonna plug into. Okay, the back, we have USB-C and two microphone inputs. Okay, the bottom, nice rubber feet. It's all aluminum chassis, nice solid construction. And uh, okay, we have our, you know, the orange dial, which they've been putting on high-end stuff. Uh, so this says power and light, okay? And this is delay function and has a center like notch. And, okay, the one on the other side is sensitivity, same thing, center notch, and then goes back and forth. Then this guy feels like an encoder. Yeah, it's just like click, 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 all the way around, okay? Just goes round and round and round. And it's push button. The other ones are not push, so that's how you power it on, I'm sure. Let's put it together. Okay, so... Now, I think there's, I forget what it is, 42, 44 LEDs on this strip. It's just a PCB circuit board. And there's a little connector. So, I assume, I don't want to break this thing. Guy is goes in there very tight. Okay. Yeah, they fit in there very snugly. Holy smokes. I'm gonna make sure they're seated. Okay. Then we have these glass tubes. These are glass. Yeah, they're yep, they feel like glass to me. And then it just screws into the base. Show you the threads, little brass or something color. Um but yeah that definitely feels like glass so all right there we go let's power this bad boy up and take a look at it and our USB-C cable I've undone this already so it had a little tie on it all right guys that's one mode right there now I can change the sensitivity over here on the left okay that was all the way down okay this mode here it seems like it kind of rain falls and changes colors with sound. And then you push this in and you get another, whoops, I gotta turn the sensitivity up. So this one goes from the middle and up, right? Okay, so that's pretty cool. Then we go this one and it's kind of a up one, but then we have this little bead that drops down, okay? Then if I do it one more time now, it seems like the same thing except for without that a uh, little bead that falls. And then this one, this one's interesting. It seems like it lights up the whole bar at the same time, just different colors. And then this one seems like it does kind of the same thing, but it runs down at the same time. If you can, I don't know if that's noticeable or not. Okay, now the thing is this dial over here, if I move it all the way to the right, here, I think this one makes it more obvious. So that one makes it really quick. And then if I turn it left, okay, in the center, there's a click. Okay, then if I go all the way to the left, it's delayed. So that's the delay feature. Now that's the center right there. Okay, so center. And let me go back through them again. There's that one. And I don't know, does it change with frequency? 
Okay, so then there's this one without the little drop going down. And then there's that one where the whole thing lights up at the same time, just different intensities. And then there's this one that seems to kind of do a similar thing, except for it also kind of falls, like it lights up and then it also runs down. Hopefully that comes across on the thing, but this is kind of cool. It does have the left and right microphones, okay? Okay, let me go to this one. I'm going to try to just tap it. You know, it seems like it's mono mode, or that vibration just goes to, I don't know, They. I don't know if it's left and right or not. Maybe they both go in and then they get summed because it doesn't, it seems like the lights do exactly the same thing, right? Like if I... I'm just trying to lightly tap this microphone. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about the stereo mode. It seems like it's a mono mode, but there is two microphones. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, I have to play with it for a while and probably be cool in a dark room. I turn off some of my lab lights, but yeah. Okay, there's that. Oh, and I did want to point out that you hold it down and then it turns it off. Then you push it in, turns right back on, okay? And the knob here in the center. Okay, this is supposed to change the lights, I think. The brightness. Is it the brightness or colors? Maybe it's colors. Yeah, there, there's more red there. Okay, so this is color. Oh, that's a nice deep red. Okay, let's go through that. Oh, that's kind of cool. But kind of, okay, now we got different colors. All right, so now maybe in that mode, if I go all the way to the left. Okay, now if I go all the way to the right, it's more blue maybe. Oh, there's some, yeah, I don't know. Um, this one just uh, has indents. The, center knob it goes around and around and around so it's just a decoder encoder or whatever so i don't know where the center point is but i guess you rotate it until you get the colors you like maybe all right so that's kind of cool thought you might want to see your shirt <laughs> all right guys so what do you think it's kind of interesting Somebody came up with that idea. I mean, I made a color organ way back when I was in high school. You know, took one of those console TVs, stripped out the TV, put plexiglass in the front, kind of the diamond style, put a bunch of lights in the back, different lights for, for different frequencies. Had a turntable on the other side. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of interesting. There are different modes, different lights, different sensitivities. Pretty cool. There's 40, 42, 44 LEDs per light strip. And those are glass little structures. So, all right. Two big thumbs up, Fossey, for sending this out to me. I'm really curious what you guys think about this. I mean, it's interesting, right? So it's about 45 bucks, I believe, uh, with the discount. It might be, yeah. It's I think it's 50 bucks, 49.99. Uh, full price, but there's discounts to take it down to 45, maybe even a little bit less. So I'll put the links down below. Appreciate you using those. Uh, two big thumbs up to my patrons, my YouTube members. Uh, Danny, for being a team member. Thanks. Appreciate that. You can join. Uh, links down below. YouTube links. Just right, right down here somewhere. There's a super thank you button, too. That's awesome. But yeah, thanks, guys. Um, I have to hook up some music and see what it looks like, huh? I got a pre-amplifier they sent me, guys. I'm going to review that. We're going to test it. And I'm going to put it in my system. And, yeah, we'll we'll look at the system setup I have after I do that review of that preamp, okay? Or maybe part of that review for the preamp. 
Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yo. Yo. <laughs>